What's up, co-reporters, and a welcome back to my channel. The House of Cards is tumbling down on DJ Envy, the famous Breakfast Club radio host. And oh my goodness, when I tell you that the judge presiding over this fraud case is threatening to arrest him and some of his alleged co-conspirators if they don't sit down for their court-ordered deposition that they have been ducking and diving now. Um, this is DJ Envy with his business partner, Cesar Pina, and they are in a lot of trouble. Shout out to Megan the reporter for posting this uh this 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 court order right now as well. It actually just got posted to her Twitter page. So shout out to her over there on that. Um, before we get into exactly what it is that the judge said, let's take a look at the allegations that DJ Envy and his business partner, Cesar Pina, are currently facing. So victims have come forward and accused DJ Envy of using his influence to involve them in an alleged Ponzi scheme. Both DJ and Envy and Cesar Pina held real estate seminars promising financial freedom and the tickets for these seminars cost upwards of $250 per ticket. Um, he boasted about potential $252,000 monthly profits on real estate, claiming that if you invest with him and his partner, Caesar, you would be building generational wealth for your family, which I feel like any seasoned, but that's the problem. They didn't go after actual legitimate seasoned real estate investors, right? They went after people um, with a dream and no experience in this industry. And that's how they were able to to um, sell them on $250,000 monthly profits. I'm sorry, but come on now. See, uh, DJ Envy would be a billionaire if he were seeing those kinds of profits with the amount of homes he was owning, right? Um, so now the seminars started expanding from New Jersey wedding venues where they begin, where they began to the Javits Center covering various real estate related topics. And then there were one-on-one -on -one follow ups in which um, Cesar Pina and DJ Envy's office were offered uh, for $2,500 per ticket. So that's 10 times what they were initially set selling them for. Now, $2,500. And so I guess they were offering maybe, to, I would hope that for $2,500 a ticket, they were offering 10x the amount of returns. So I will let you pull out your calculator on that. Um, 10x, $252,000 monthly, right? So now let's get into the re where the legal problems began for DJ MV that lead to him being threatened with an arrest if he doesn't sit down for these depositions, shall we? So at least 20 lawsuits have been filed against Cesar Pina, accusing him of failing to deliver promised returns. Federal prosecutors charged him with wire fraud, alleging a Ponzi-like scheme with $17 million involved. And DJ Envy has been named as a defendant in lawsuits accused and accused of convincing investors to participate in the alleged scam. He's got the brand. He is the host of probably the biggest um, you know, hip-hop radio show in the U.S., if not the world, The Breakfast Club. And so he used that notoriety to co-sign Caesar Pina's business. And so that obviously has a lot of legal repercussions for him right now that the feds are accusing this whole thing of being a Ponzi scheme. Um, now, um, there was a description of a property on Park Avenue in Patterson where Caesar allegedly misled investors about ownership. Um, there were accusations that Caesar took millions from investors and used it for personal expenses, leaving some investors in financial distress, which honestly breaks my heart. I hate to see people be um, taken advantage of this way. So DJ Envy has responded to the allegations against him and Caesar Pina. He, of course, is denying knowledge of Pina, Pina's actions, and he's actually presenting himself as a victim in this whole thing, which is very rich for someone who is siphoning millions of dollars out of people collectively, right? Um, you know, that adds up the $250 tickets, the $2,500 meetings. Um, they led up to millions of dollars. And so um, he's like, and the whole thing, the whole way that reason that people were giving all that money was because Envy was presenting himself as a seasoned real estate investor. So now we're supposed to believe that he's a victim in all of this. He had no idea. Come on now. His attorney claims that there was he had limited involvement in real estate beyond seminars and investment in a Patterson school. Now that we have a little bit of the background and we will get into a little bit more of that. Let's get into this new um, 
I want to call it a subpoena, but I don't think that that is the official name for it. Okay. Um, so the, these are the official documents that the judge just ruled and handed down to see to um, DJ Envy, Cesar Pina, and other people as well. So here we go. Again, once again, shout out to Megan Kuniff, also otherwise known as Megan the reporter for these documents. So this was uh, filed just yesterday. And it says, and I quote, this matter having been presented to the court by Mark J. Politan, the chapter 11 trustee in the bankruptcy case of warehouse real estate investments, um, LLC, Taylor Court Apartments, LLC, and warehouse limited liability company, collectively referred to as the debtors by and through this council upon the filing of a motion to compel Cesar Pina, Jennifer Ituralde Pina, and Rashawn Casey to comply with the trustees rule 2004 subpoenas and granting related relief cited the motion and due and proper notice of the motion having been given and the court having considered the papers in support of the motion in opposition thereto, if any, and good cause having been shown, it is hereby ordered as follows. So here's the first order. Caesar Pina, Jennifer Pina, and Rashawn Casey are compelled to produce copies of all documents requested on schedules A, B, and C of the subpoenas on or above January, um, on or before January 8th, 2024. True and correct copies of the subpoenas are annexed as Exhibit A. So they've only got a couple of weeks to get these documents together for the judge. And mind you, um, what's his face? DJ Envy, Envy's real name is Rashawn Casey. Okay, Rashawn with two A's because the first A is silent, apparently. Now, here's a second order. Should Caesar Pina... Jennifer Pina or Rashawn Casey failed to provide full and complete responses to the requests on schedules A, B, and C as directed in decretal paragraph one above. The trustee shall file a notice of default with the court, at which time the court may convene a hearing to address appropriate sanctions against Caesar, Jennifer, and Rashawn, you guys, for contempt of this court's order, including, but not limited to, and here's where it gets spicy, an order for arrest to bring the parties to the United States Bankruptcy Court District of New Jersey. And then they have the address there. So there you guys go. Um, TJ Envy, dude, you are in a lot of hot water. And if you don't get um, those documents together that the judge is requesting, you are going to be arrested. And that really is going to be a, a huge blow to your public image. This lawsuit already is a huge blow to his public image, but that the arrest, the images, the mugshot. And then I think that that might place his position with the Breakfast Club in jeopardy as well, because that is just not a good look, right? To have someone um, who's already facing some kind of a fraud case hosting the show and then second of all he's not even um respecting the trial and the, the 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 legal process of it and everything like that um that's just not a good look at all at all so like i said earlier dj envy is painting himself as a victim of caesar uh, pina right now um and so uh for those who are wondering um caesar pina does have a criminal history and i wonder if that'll kind of come into play here. Um, they are saying that he learned real estate while serving time in federal prison and expanded his real estate ho holdings to hundreds of rental units in poor neighborhoods. Um, and of course, a lot of people have made a lot of you know remarks about this case. I think most notably was Joe Budden. When the lawsuit first broke out, Joe Budden said, you know what? Um, DJ Envy came to me asking for money. And I said, absolutely not. You never speak to me. But I'm supposed to believe that out of the blue, you're going to call me up, someone that isn't your friend, and say, hey, I've got an opportunity for you to make a lot of money. Absolutely not. There's no way I would fall for this, right? And I think other people have come forward as well to kind of like mock this situation and this quote unquote scam and everything like that. Um, the uh, 
I, I don't know what to say, you guys. Uh, by the way, Pina is also facing wire fraud charges. And um, I just, I, I think he's going to plead guilty. I think it's predicted that that's what he's going to do. So maybe all of this will be over a lot quicker than we think. And um, I don't know what how that might affect DJ Envy if Caesar Pina pleads guilty. And DJ Envy was supposed to be some sort of an accomplice to this, you know, scam or Ponzi scheme or whatever it is that the two of them were running together. Either way, this document is hot off the press. Again, Megan, the reporter, dropped it on Twitter just a couple minutes before I started filming. Um, and as usual, when I've got more updates, you will have more updates. So if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel for more celebrity news like this, okay? That's all for now. And you know what? I think I'm going to talk to some of my lawyer friends here on YouTube and get um, get a legal a, a legal view and discussion about this going if that's something that you guys are interested in. So if you would like for me to speak with a lawyer friend and have them on the channel, definitely do make sure to leave that as a comment in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.